guys welcome back to my youtube channel engineering show so today we're looking at the aircraft tire this is a train tire so i will be looking at some pre-flight inspections that i would normally do so first when i walk up to the aircraft let us look at the general condition of the tire examine the side walls for any cuts right because the side wall takes most of the load while the aircraft is on the ground i'll also look at my wheel half for any cracks so this is good. I look at my valve stem, it's a tube tire to see if it's cut, right, but it's tubeless. Um, I look at my bolts, make sure that my nuts and my on the bolts, um, they have not moved by these script marks, right? I'll check to see if this is in safety. Well, it's supposed to be a split pin here. Um, I'd also check for any signs of corrosion and on a tube tire you would normally get a creep mark which is one inch by two inch two inches in length and one inch in width to see if the tire has been misaligned which shows that the tires rotate around the wheel half all right so then from there i look at my shoulder I also look at the sidewalls for any bulges in the tire so no bulges i look at the treads now now some tires come with wear indicators, some don't. Okay, so normally we go in at least a one centimeter into the tread and then we neglect the tire. So you could see the stars may rotated and the inside has it more than the outside. But at this condition the tire is unserviceable because the tread has wear it straight down to a point where there's no visible tread I also look for any exposed canvas and any impaled objects like nails bricks and so dig them out and make sure they haven't punctured the tire or tube if it's a tube tire from there I'll go to the back normally you get your brake caliper alright I'll expect my brake caliper for leaks alright and for security of attachment but now right now I'm checking my brake liner, my brake disc for any cracks at the extension at the heat expansion points. And just for general condition, as you could see this has some corrosion on it, but we'll allow that. Alright. And if you are landing gear, it's a truss type, alright? Or oleo, you could check for leaks. But I trust I could check for any bowing or so of the landing gear frame. And then some pre flights would also check for the correct tire pressure. Alright, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week.